Welcome to another video from Mr. Long's Teacher Tips and in this video we're going to look at Kahoot's. What is a Kahoot and how we can create our own Kahoot's and in another video we'll show you how to manage a Kahoot in the classroom. So in Kahoot is basically like an online live quiz application or you can use it for surveys as well but it's normally done quite live like so as as you load the the Kahoot the students that are in your venue can actually use their devices to actually engage in a particular quiz or survey or multiple choice quiz or something like that. So um, when you search for Kahoot, um, there's normally two links that you need to go to. You don't go to the one with the IT in it because that's going to be the one that you use when you play the Kahoot. We just want to go to the actual Kahoot website. So I'm going to click on Kahoot and I'm going to sign um, in. I've already signed up, but you can uh, sign up by just using your normal login details. I'm going to log in and I'm going to use my my normal Gmail account to log in. So you can log in via your Gmail account. So I'm going to log in using with Google. Um, so it's letting me do that. Boom, boom. There we go. Thank you, Mr. Long. So it's letting me log in and I have got an account already. And so we're going to cre see how we can create Kahoot's. Um, there are a whole bunch of Kahoot's that are normally available on the website that people have made public that you can search for. So you can discover a particular Kahoot. So there's a whole bunch of options. Obviously, if you want to search for buy options and stuff like that, you can do that. We want to continue using the free one. So you can use it for free. If you want the other options, obviously you can purchase it. Um, but we, if you search, if you want to discover, let's say we're going to go, you can actually search for particular topics. Um, you can find a Kahoot particularly on maybe you want to do a, uh, find something on flags. So you can search for all the Kahoots that are out there on flags or flags of the world. And you can actually run those cahoots if you want. But we want to actually create our own ones. I'm going to go to home and we want to create our own one. So here's our, our cahoots over here. We're going to create a cahoot. So I'm going to say create. Boom. And let's see what we can do. So we're going to create a new cahoot. There are lots of little options. Okay. So we're going to create. By the way, when you do create an account, it's going to ask you if you're a student or a teacher. So obviously you make a teacher and you can actually make one for your school. So yeah, there we go. We've got our first question for our Kahoot. So I'm going to give us a title. So I'm going to make this a Kahoot about, what are we going to do? talk about carrots? We've spoken about carrots before. So let's talk. Uh, this is a quiz about carrots. Okay. Oh, not quicks. Quiz about carrots. Okay. And you can save it to your Kahoot. You can actually have little, little folders and stuff like that. Um, you can add branding. Obviously, obviously, some of these options are only available to you if you've paid for the other versions. You can make it available to anyone. So anyone can search for this one or it can only be available to you if you want. You can have those options available to you as well. And you can add, obviously, a cover page and so on. I'm not going to do that now, but those are options that are, are available. And so you can type in your question. So um, let's start typing in. They give you options to bold and italic as well as use formulas and that if you want to use some maths options. Um, but let's say we're going to say what uh, what do carrots help with? So a lot of people say you must eat carrots to help you with eyesight. So it helps with uh, walking. It helps with eyesight. It helps with uh, what else can we say? Eyesight. It could help with flying. Maybe carrots help you to fly. And maybe carrots help you to swim. Okay, so we're writing down our options. You can you don't have to write all four, but you could write as many as you want. Um, so you got that, and then you must make sure you indicate which one is the correct answer. In this case, we want to say eyesight. That's the correct answer option. You can have multiple correct answers, but then you need to make sure that they allow to ex enable multi-select if you want. But you can have multiple options in that if you want. But I'm going to say no. That one's not correct. Please don't. Don't do that for me. Okay, let's deselect that because obviously carrots don't help you fly. So there we go. There's my first question. If you want to add a video or image, you can actually add it over here as well. Maybe there's a question relating to an image. So what is this flag, for example? So there we go. We've done that. We've got our question. That's fantastic. We're going to add another question. Boom. So we can add another question. So it's going to be a true or false. Or obviously these little options with a little crown means those are for the premium if you've paid for them. But you can have true or false or quiz. We can have another quiz question. And so this is question two. Uh, carrots are orange. And, and the, what color were they originally? Um, so we can say, okay, let's say this they were purple, which is what they actually are. And we can say they are green and we can say they are blue. 
And let's say we only want three options. So then we can say, okay, that is the correct option there. And so on. So you can go ahead and add your different questions and then you can have a nice little quiz. Other things to take note of is that you can set a time limit to the question. Obviously, if there's a lot of reading involved in the question. You might want to set that time limit up a little bit to give them a bit of a chance to read the, the full question or you, or that very quick fire. You can make it shorter if you need to. So you can set time limits and you can set points, for example, to a particular question based on maybe there's a free question or maybe there's a, a question that's particularly important that you want to double the points and stuff like that. So you do have those options. And yeah, we've got multi-select is only for the premium options if you want to be have multiple select. Okay, so there we go. So you just keep adding your questions and you can obviously change the settings of your quiz. Um, maybe you want to save it to a particular folder and stuff like that. So once you're done, so let's say we've only got these two, we're done. And then, so there, I've finished a quiz. So you want, is it ready to play? No, we, we, we are done, thank you. We don't want to play it yet. And so there we go. So now, when I'm in my Kahoot, so when I'm in my, when I've logged on, you'll see there should be my Kahoot over here that you can see. So you can see all of your Kahoots. So I've got one Kahoot obviously there. So there's my carrot Kahoot and so on. And so there I can create a new Kahoot if I want to over there. So that's how you can create it. Obviously you can go ahead and create different quizzes. And then in another video, we'll show you how you can actually run a Kahoot. In another video, we will show you how to run your actual Kahoot. But until then, click on that subscribe button, leave a like, leave a comment. We'd love to hear from you. And remember, don't do it the long way. Do it the Mr. Long Way.